today we got ourselves a bone bond however it's pronounced this is a evaporator from a walk-in cooler the um fan guards are all busted off already so we don't have to worry about that but uh it's all aluminum there's some copper underneath and there's a pipe hiding back down in there got a couple motors you can see the coil through there so we're gonna rip this apart today, break it down, get the good stuff out of it. I don't know where I'm gonna start, but um, yeah, let's get going at that. So I guess I'll start with getting some of this stuff out of the way. Like the, and these uh, support brackets. Oh, lost the drill bit. Gotta remember, he dropped one. I don't want to run that over. Next, we should get that off. All right, we got our pipe wrench. Let's unbolt this. Uh oh, the whole thing's just spinning. Oh, that ain't no good. All right, I guess we'll come back to that later. Well, I guess we'll just go back to zinging out these bolts. But first, let's drop these fan motors. All right. Fans are loose. Now let's just get this thing disassembled. back there Any more bolts? Gotta be. Gotta be. Yep. There they are. All right. All right. It's coming apart. Coming apart. Killer fans. Piece of shred. Some wires. So I guess let me, let me get my cutters. Got our cutters, so let's just free this up. Fans freed out of here. Not much to that. Just wire out of there. All right, the wire's out of there. As you can see, still a little bit down here. We'll get to that in a minute. There's a coil. Some copper and stuff on there. Nice piece of brass. Well, there's the brass, not there. So, let's get this out of the way next. So now, probably the boringest part of the video, let's get this uh, on-off switch box off of here. And you hear that bird?
These are the worst screws ever, I tell you. I wonder they really don't use them anymore. Wait, that's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. All right, some conduit. Probably won't come out of here because this stuff's usually pretty tough. Oh, wait, look at that. Nice, nice. All right, let's clean up this coil. Well, but first, we, before, we get, before we get the copper off, let's get this... Uh, bag of brass out of there so there's a bag of brass well not really but you know what i mean all right that wasn't very challenging got some uh copper some brass with some steel on the top not bad not bad Alrighty, we'll come back to this in one second. All right, so here's our copper and brass thing. Look at that, we got a light out, like we know what we're doing. Over here, we're getting professional. So next, what we're gonna wanna do is just clean this up the best we can. This is a piece of steel, and I'm sure there's some C-clips inside here, possibly a spring, but uh, ow. Let's uh, get this in the vise and clean it up the best we can for now. Hmm, this will start here. Well, I guess I could probably just pinch this off. All right, that piece is off. Now this end is brass, so we're gonna have to remove that, separate that. Uh, oil, Earl, oil, Earl, whatever you wanna call it. So there's that piece. We'll cleaned up somewhat still dripping oil now we gotta get that other piece of copper off the bottom all right so here it is like i said it earlier it was just spinning so we're gonna cheat and just hit it with a hammer and pop it out not working so we'll try on this side that worked a lot easier now let's see if we can get this off in the, using the vise, because I didn't want to come off in the unit itself. You got a wrench. Oh man, it's starting to spin. Jesus. All right, just for the sake of it, we're just gonna call this breakage right now and throw it in the to-do pile like this. Then let's free up those electric motor fans.
we'll start with the first one. See if we can get in there with this. Oh yeah. Oh, is that the wrong size? Yep, wrong size. All right, we're back with the right size. All right, now that that's somewhat off, let's do the other one. Maybe it'll just be easier to cut it. All right, let's try that. So we got one motor in the vise. Let's see how uh, easy this is gonna be. It might not uh, work out too great. Oh, we'll get it. One. So, last thing you need to do, pretty much, is get this junction box off. There we go, like we know what we're doing. All right, there's a piece of shred. There's the coil, set it all up and we'll see what we got out of it. So here it is now, it's all separated into its proper categories. Some of this I'm gonna work on on a different day. I just wanna get this broke down and out of the way. So we'll start off with our steel, nuts, bolts, screws, mounts for the motors, piece of sheet iron, conduit. Now this has got some copper and a little bit of brass on it. So those are worth cleaning up if you've got nothing to do. So, and then here's our pieces of breakage, the fans, a little bit of steel in there. I'll probably just cut the little fan blades off, get some clean aluminum. And then here's our number one house wire. It's still got that paper on there, strip that. And here's our number two. We're not stripping that, that can just go as is. A little piece of die cast. Here's the two motors. These are strippable, but if I didn't strip them, these would go as low grade, which are like 15 cents. So we'll strip those. Here's our uh, brass breakage. Clean this up another day, like I was saying. That's how I like to do my stuff, just get it out of the way. Here's our clean brass. Is that piece that was in that bag. Here's our number one and number two, but it's probably all number two now because it's getting all oily. Here's our sheet aluminum. These probably go as extruded though, these brackets. There's the aluminum. And there's the coil. I will clean this up another day. I just don't want to do all this today. Some killer noodles on there. These are actually aluminum sides. So there you go. Bone, born, whatever it's called, evaporator unit.